This week, West Virginia Governor Jim Justice called a high school girls basketball team thugs. And now Justice is saying he's sorry, albeit with strings. It's a little too late, though, for some lawmakers. 13 News Chief Political Reporter Mark Curtis has the story. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice says he's sorry if he offended anyone by calling some high school basketball players thugs this week. Justice, who coaches the Greenbrier East High School girls team, made the comments after a game that was often physically rough and tense Tuesday night against Woodrow Wilson High School. If I've offended anyone by what I've said, I would have never said that, and I'm sorry for saying that if I've offended anyone. But at the same time, for crying out loud, you know, the other coaches... You know, one of the coaches is charged by obstructing a police officer. And many members of the legislature criticized him for a poor choice of words. No adult should ever try to bring down any young person by using any type of derogatory word. We need to. Uh... Uh, get this issue behind us, and the best way to do that is for the governor to apologize for calling high school athletes thugs. Justice says his thugs comment was not a racial slur, but rather a concern that the game got too violent and unsafe. What happened is very, very bad behavior coming down from the top to our children and everything, and we cannot have that. Justice hopes the two teams will cool off before they face each other again. One longtime school teacher who now serves as a delegate told me this should serve as a teachable moment for the student athletes, the adults, and especially the governor, so that something like this does not happen again. At the state capitol in Charleston, I'm Moore Curtis, 13 News, working for you. Five players from the Woodrow Wilson team were suspended for leaving the bench and going onto the floor. One coach was cited for obstructing an officer, but so far the State Athletic Association has not issued any penalties to coaches from either team, including Governor Justice.